Welcome back, gentle folks. This is Satria, C-E-D-R-I-Y-A, and it has been a while. Plus, it's a new year, so welcome to 2020. I know you guys haven't heard from me, and I personally have not drawn for a good eight, nine months now. And I thought I'd go ahead and do a little catch up and try to get myself back into the groove of doing work for my personal self. Yes, I do draw for work, so sometimes doing that on a regular basis can tire you out. But also, I have a good reason. I just spent the last six, seven-ish months on two things. Well, first, not the best of reasons, but I suddenly um, got back into listening to uh, foreign music. I used to be a big J-Rock fan. Um, and now I... <laughs> I rediscovered K-pop again, and yes, I know, BTS, super popular, whatever, yes. But um, yeah, I am a fan too, and I've just been on that. And honestly, I think my heart and my mind was just trying desperately to find just some decent entertainment and, you know, wholesome music and, well, as wholesome as it's going to get, and just something to be, you know, mindlessly having fun in because my second reason comes in and that is i bought a house y'all yay well yay or nay or whatever i'm sure all of you or most of you have heard the news i'd say this is something that's happening like all over the planet um the looming recession uh is it the end of the world uh places on fire which with that i want to say my heart goes out to both the people in california and the people that are in Australia because that's just I mean that's just super devastation not only is it scary for your own personal life and your your livelihood and your family but it, when it gets to the point where it destroys so much of the wildlife that after you survive you know your life is fundamentally fundamentally changed and um buying this house for myself was quite a bit of a strange journey I would say I'm probably in, in a like a C plus B minus type neighborhood. It, it's kind of like a weird hodgepodge, um, but I can see the city trying to get it to grow. And I also think that again, with what's happening on with the news and stuff, and that is just, you know, people are moving to where they can afford it. And I don't have, you know, a boyfriend or a husband or anything lying in the background <laughs> to partnership with in order to buy my first home. So. And with my little measly salary as that it as it is, I did it. Uh, I've had people ask me why do I buy this? Why buy this house? Um, is it because of my age? Because I did just turn 32. I, I, people have asked me a couple of these questions. Yeah, I've just turned 32. Um, other people just you know ask me. You know, it's not necessarily an investment because things are expensive and da 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 da. And quite frankly, I was just not. I'm never, I was never into the whole apartment living because I use apartment living for exactly what it is and that is it's temporary. So I moved quite a bit anytime I knew I was in a rental situation but here I am I find that I end up staying in my job the longest that I've ever stayed in a job for three plus years and had I bought a house three years ago I would have been in a better position however uh, three years ago, you know, I was doing other things and, and whatnot. And I'm sorry if this is kind of boring to some of you, but, you know, all of you need a place to live. And I feel that, well, I'll get into that more about where I'm seeing this channel, where I'm seeing the year 2020 and beyond. But um, to answer quickly the question as to why I bought the house, it's just I wasn't planning to, but the very first house caught my heart so deeply that once it caught my heart i was like okay i'm i'm gonna buy a house it's like it officially just hit my head like i'm gonna buy a house of course i did inspections on that house and it it it, 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 it it's sad because the location is perfect but the house is miserable and i'm too scared that in two three years like something's gonna happen and buying a house is quite the commitment that i would at least need for the two three years for nothing major to happen and there was there was things in it so i'm leaving it go for people who really want that house and it was it's just the perfect house like it's like my retirement style house it's the house i would sit in forever and then of course there's other instances that's why it took so long but i'm not going to keep on talking about housing and houses and stuff 
throughout uh, the year, you'll see some updates, some DIYs, some, uh, you know, blood, sweat and tears because I've never done any of these things. Like I've never done anything. I've never watched hack videos because again, apartments are temporary for me. So if it can't fit in my car with the exception of the actual mattress, I just did not bother and I, I was, I'm busy. I am busy girl. Um, but yes, yeah, so now YouTube is proliferated and full of new year, new me's videos. Uh, what I learned about the last decade or last or last year, 2019, and a lot of bujos, you know, bullet journals, uh, 2020, which I am going to attempt to do it again because I think I didn't kept it to the way it makes sense for me, even though I do write down and plan things for myself. I've been looking up a lot of minimalist type bujos because I, I mean, I draw for other reasons not to draw in my journal. And I feel like the most pretty looking journals are, you know, are pretty and all that stuff because that is that person's way of being creative and putting their heart and spin and finding the work to be therapeutic. Whereas for me, the bullet journal is really just about um, planning out things in my mind for the year and try to keep on track on my goals so there's not gonna be too many things there might be like you know a, maybe a quick sketch or doodle in a corner or something just so it's not so bare but I just yeah I just don't see myself doing um, it too much so other than that I would have to say two things that I learned or two a few things that I learned about the last decade and um, 2019 and that is personally for me if you want to do something like you really want to do something it's much easier to do that than to force yourself to do something you really don't want to do there's a lot of things that I have to do and a few things that I really have to do but I it, I've just dragged my feet and I just didn't want to do it However, things that I do want to do, i.e. like buying a house or I want to raise a garden. I've never raised a garden before. You, you'll have to forgive me. I do have some plants out now. We'll see how that goes. Um, and that stuff, yay. Um, I do want to do them and it's much easier for me to do them even though it's, it's physically a lot of work. Now, painting my house. Because I've never painted an apartment before, I am probably doing every single painting mistake there is. On top of the fact that even when I do it, I'm not really enjoying. Like I find the work to be so tedious that if I don't listen to something like this, I am more likely to just, uh, I just want to pull my hair out. However, for some reason, putting in shells is um, an experience. Uh, but yes, like I said, I'm not going to be talking about the house a lot, even though it's like the new thing. I've been in it for like three months now. So yeah, by the way, the price of the house that you pay for a month is like the tip of the iceberg. The amount of taxes and municipal fees, uh, the fees that the city will charge you can vary so much and can cost you a lot, can easily put a, a few, another hundred to three or four hundred dollars a month on top of what you're paying i'm not even gonna get into it but anyways yes so what is coming up for this channel i am sure if you've gotten this far um you probably really are an old subscriber and i thank you for your loyalty and i hope that to show my thankfulness is that you find value in the work that i do in the videos that i post and things like that if you're a new subscriber and you're finding what i'm chatting about interesting welcome i'm glad you're here i think i've gotten a few but i think most of you guys probably came through my tutorials so what is this channel about this channel is definitely an art channel this channel is very much a comic and story writing channel too but also a day of the life of me the artist so throughout the year i'd like to sprinkle in tutorials especially i've noticed that i've gotten a lot of comments recently on tutorials where <laughs> it's very specific tutorial and people are like why is no one else making this tutorial thank you so much and that is because i distinctly remember and recall how frustrating it was when you would look up these tutorials and they kind of skim over the, the 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 part that you need or no one bothers to make a specific type of tutorial hence my manga um screen toning tutorial in photoshop without like nothing additional like non-additional um uh, tools or special brushes and that is actually I mean I gathered it, it wasn't like I 
came to it on a happenstance, like I suddenly came into it. But it's also the fact that I've collected bits and pieces of information in so many places. And it just seems like those people who originate that information decide not to post on YouTube. I guess they're busy uh, with their own work in any ways. So yes, I definitely want this channel to be a mix of things that are interesting to you. Well, all of them I hope is interesting to you, but are helpful to you in terms of tutorials and tips and tricks and stuff. So if you want more of that and you have a specific question, always be sure to leave comments in any, vi in any video. I don't get that many comments anyway, so I'll eventually see your comment. It may take me a bit to respond, not because of so many comments, but it, I, I work like full time and a half like a lot of hours and stuff so i do see it and i always want to respond uh, a good response so yeah post down what you want below and as i said i mostly do videos that really are topics or in a manner that maybe you've not heard or actually just do the tutorial better and it, it's actually clear and, and it's easy to understand so for that reason, it does take me a bit to finally sit down and do tutorials. Like I have to put that in my head, like, okay, I'm going to sit down I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it in a method that makes sense to someone who's never done it before. So, uh, don't, don't be discouraged. Go ahead and leave your, um, comments and requests. Second thing is the fact that the channel as an art channel is also, I would like to share more of my comic and writing work. So I put a pause on cross star, not because like. I was busy I mean I was busy but also because I was starting to realize just how much I did not really plan on the story and I really want to take my time on that because that's the whole point of me doing the cross star project other than me wanting to write a story but I really want to nail down more of a routine and a system for creating the artwork because the creative part is thinking about the story and designing the characters and designing um, the composition but after that sitting and actually drawing does it it's not as creative as maybe some of you might assume it's really just it end up becoming like a tedious work it's like it's like deciding to make a new app and it'll have all these features and the reason why it has the features is because people ask or you've noticed there was this problem like you thought of the idea you thoroughly thought of the idea you planned on it and now you know how it's how to make it so you're just in there, you're making it and you get to a point where you're so good at making things, not to say that I'm great with art, just saying that you get to the point that you know how to make a thing that when you sit and do it, you're not really thinking about said thing. You're thinking about something else like cooking. In my instance, I really love cooking and stuff like that. So um, I will continue to share my comics and my stories with you guys because I really want to produce the artwork, but I don't think I'm going to keep to the conventional uh, wisdom on terms in things like producing your own projects only because I, because of my schedule and the way I think of things that I don't want to feel like I'm beholden to some kind of schedule that worked for someone else or worked in the past but I do want to keep to a schedule the last bit is videos such as these where I'm drawing on something and I just want to have an art and chat with you guys on a topic. Again, just to reiterate, I am 32 and I feel a lot of us millennial, whenever the millennial talk is about, it's they still view us as children or that we're not really, you know, thinking about life big questions or whatever or how we're going to continue on with alive, especially as we live in a time where so much things are changing like our own parents don't know how would not know really how to give us advice i mean they can give us the classics the basics the traditional the you know things that just never go old like being kind to one another and stuff like that but specific 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 things that deal with life money um new family dynamics because they're not traditional or original family dynamics you know there was a time that the woman didn't have to go out and work if she was married and there was a time that women pretty much were required to marry i mean there's so many changes that was just an example but there's so many changes and i feel like there's not enough of a voice of you know people around our age or our group or our generation that talk more about adulting and happiness and you know inner spirituality and peace and stuff like that they do we do talk about it but it i feel like those channels are specifically focused towards that whereas um other genres or areas 
don't talk about it, even though it's something that touched all of us, you know. Um, I think the most, the art, I mean, now and then, other than when, and especially, okay, I'm sorry, I'm going off, but especially when in the art community, especially just rant, just suddenly the artists will come into tough times and then, you know, they'll make a request to help them out with something, whatever it is. And I'm not making this as though they shouldn't ask. That wasn't my point. My point is the only time you ever hear anything about when it comes to money, finance, and um, you know, general adulting thing and lifestyle things is when a crisis happened. When I think we should just all be just, you know, sprinkling in and everything that we do that, you know, the other day I had to deal with this. And I feel that it's only the more mature art YouTubers that are doing that. Like I know Bailey J, because well, I follow her vlog more so than her art channel, where she talks about, you know, um, how to run a store, but not just how to run a store, but all the daily issues that come towards running a store how to be professional um you know and then things like cooking which i definitely would like to talk about cooking let me know if you care a bit about cooking i won't necessarily do like tutorials or anything like that but maybe something simple or just to share what i like to do because it's creative too you know and i'm sure all of us has more than just one hobby um other things to talk about uh I guess so that's pretty much life things also health um, I think our generation I have a sneaking suspicion that with all the modifications to our food and the sudden change of the family dynamic a lot of us was raised with one of our one or both of our parents were missing or they were too busy to really provide you with quality care or maybe you you know you got bullied a lot and no one really watched over you or you were by yourself and there's just so many things that I and then plus we stayed inside a lot and I know media want to say it's games but I think in an instant at least an example for me it was literally because my parents were too scared for us to be outside so they bought as many games as possible to coax us to stay inside um, I mean there's just so much out there that I just I guess I'm just getting to that point in my life where I see things I observe things and I knew that homesteading I'm not necessarily going to do homesteading but um, homestead and going back to basics and minimalism essentialism um, finding inner peace um, the health um, and fitness and wellness and spa and DIY there's just so much that all of us are going through and and learning and improving and adapting that I just it's going to seep into my work and I wish it does and I hope it does so now and then I will have videos about just art and chat where I draw something and maybe I might show like a little imagery of what is it that I'm talking about but um, mostly it'll be speed paints of me working on something and chatting over so this was quite a bit of a <laughs> quite a bit of a video and I hope you I mean, I hope you guys actually did listen towards the end. Um, these are the types where you just sit and relax and maybe sit and um, sit next to a nice window and drink some tea. It is winter. Or, you know, while you're drawing yourself and you just want to hear something while you're sketching. And this is just about the right time, about length for you to finish up your books and things like that. So I hope you found this interesting hope you find this cozy i hope you look forward to more of my videos and i hope you do watch um youtube is changing and although i don't you know have patreon and all that stuff i do really appreciate if you leave a comment um even more so than subscribers actually which we'll get into another video but yeah leave a comment thumbs up and of course watch as much as the video as you can um if you don't like a section that's fine too leave me feedback you know guys i 2020 sounds like a sci-fi movie <laughs> so all the best to all of you guys and i hope you continue on with this journey with me